Well, good evening to you all and welcome along to our latest Monday Night Speedway broadcast. We have got plenty of action coming your way this evening and we will be getting racing underway uh, very shortly indeed. First of all, though, please do uh, allow me to remind you of the official British Speedway website. That is speedwaygb.co.uk. That's the place to keep heading for all the latest news and views. And we want you to keep interacting on our social media channels as well. Give us a follow on Twitter at SpeedwayGB. Uh, search SpeedwayGB on Facebook and like our page on there. Give us a follow on Instagram at Official British Speedway. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, simply search Speedway Great Britain. Once again, we thank you for your continued support and backing during these difficult times. And perhaps if there is something you would like to see on our social media channels, then uh, do drop us a message or two. And uh, you never know, perhaps we can sort something for you. But like I say, thanks for your continued support, uh, backing and understanding and keep interacting. Right, tonight's Monday Night Speedway broadcast. We are heading back to 2008 to the Elite League Riders Championship and it was held at Birmingham's Perry Bar Stadium and as you would expect a star-studded field so let's run you through the lineup at number one it was Chris Holder with Jason Crump going at number two Freddie Lindgren was at three with Lee Adams at number four Billy Janeiro was at five with Edward Kennett at number six Piotr Swiderski was at seven with Kenneth Bier at number eight at number nine, it was Charlie Jeter with Troy Batchelor going at number 10. Jonas Davidson was at number 11 with Davey Watt at number 12. Danny King was at 13 with Rory Schlein at number 14. Lewis Bridger was at 15 with Niels Christian Everson completing the main lineup at number 16. And the two track reserve 17 was Jay Hearn and 18 was Luke Priest. So like I say, what a stunning lineup uh, for the 2008 Elite League Riders Championship. Plenty of riders desperate to secure the silverware late on in the season. And let's remind ourselves of how this one unfolded as we head to the second city and the Perry Bar Stadium for heat number one. And let's go racing. OK then, lining up for heat number one. Gate one in red for Paul is Chris Holder. Gate two in blue is Bellevue's Jason Crump. Gate three in green representing Wolverhampton is Freddie Lindgren. And off the outside in yellow for Swindon is Lee Adams. Well, there's Chris Holder, the Australian, one of several Aussies in the field tonight. A real star of the future this man Began his career in Britain with the Isle of Wight where his brother James is now riding, but certainly now a true star of the Elite League. Current Australian champion Chris Holder goes off gate one in red representing Paul. Gate two in blue, and he's no introduction at all. Jason Crump, twice a world champion, representing the Bellevue Aces here tonight. He goes off gate two in blue. Gate three in green, the skipper of the Wolverhampton Wolves and a Grand Prix rider, Freddie Lindgren from Sweden. And off the outside in yellow, Lee Adams. So two of the favourites clashing in this first race, Jason Crump and Lee Adams. Here we go then with heat number one, Holder, Crump, Lindgren and Adams. A little movement there from Crump, but they get away from the start. The red light's coming on, though, from referee Ronnie Allen. And Heat won in this Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship is stopped there with a bit of movement from the rider in blue. Referee Ronnie Allen rules unsatisfactory start there with no rider actually uh, collecting the tapes. Jason Crump there with a bit of movement coming off gate number two. Ronnie Allen spotted it straight away and on came the red lights before the riders had gone 30 yards. So it's a rerun with all four riders following an unsatisfactory start to Heat number one. So the riders back at the tapes then for the second attempt at uh, Heat number one. Keep your eye on Freddie Lindgren in this one in green, one of the few riders in the field tonight with experience of the Perry Bar track. He appeared here at the end of last season in the Midland Shield between Birmingham and Wolves. Second leg of the Midland Shield coming a little later in the month here at uh, Birmingham. Wolves just uh, a few points up from the first leg at Monmore Green. But start Marshal Keith Kershaw pulls him in the line then for the rerun of heat number one. Holder, Crump, Lindgren and Adams from the outside. Here we go. They get away this time, it's a great start by Jason Crump in blue, Adams trying to close down Lindgren into the first turn, but it's Jason Crump in blue, hits the front as they come off turn number two. Second in red is Chris Holder, Freddie Lindgren in third place, something of a surprise to see Lee Adams in yellow at the back, he'll try to get down the inside of Lindgren as they come off turn number four. As they complete the first lap, Jason Crump leads and Lee Adams through into third place ahead of Wolverhampton's Freddie Lindgren. But it's the Bellevue ace, Jason Crump, twice a world champion, who leads the way, Chris Holder going well in second, the Paul Pirates number one. It's Australia 1, 2 and 3 in this opening heat of the 2008 Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship. Chris Holder trying to get down the inside of his fellow countrymen there as they come off turn number 2. But Jason Crump is going to start tonight as he means to go on if it stays like this. He's holding off Chris Holder all the way. 
Chris Holder, another man who's appeared here at Perry Bar in the past with his Premier League side, the Isle of Wight Islanders. He's got no answer to the double world champion in this one. It's going to be first blood to Bellevue in the form of Jason Crump in blue. Takes the win. Second in red is Chris Holder. Third place in yellow goes to Lee Adams at the back in green. Wolverhampton's Frederick Lindgren. So it is the Wizard of Oz, Jason Crump, who takes the win in the opening race here tonight. Got a second chance following a bit of movement from the gate first time round. But Jason Crump starts off the night with a win over Chris Holder, Lee Adams and Freddie Lindgren in fourth place. So over heat number two then, we've got Billy Janeiro representing Coventry in red. Gate two representing Ipswich in blue is Piotr Spiderski. Gate three in green for Eastbourne is Edward Kennett. And off the outside for the Peterborough Panthers in yellow is Kenneth Biera. There is Billy Janeiro, the American, a late replacement for the injured Chris Harris in this one. Been racing in Britain for some eight years now with the Bees and also with Peterborough. He's off gate one in red. Gate number two in blue, the pole on his track debut tonight's Piotr Spiderski. Began his uh, British career with Peterborough last season and now a number one for the Ipswich Witches. Gate three in green is uh, England star Edward Kennett for the Eastbourne Eagles. And there is Kenneth Vieira, the Dane for Peterborough, off the outside. This is heat number two, the Revs rise, takes rise and away they go again. A little bit of movement at the start. But they're away into the first turn. It's a great start by the man in yellow. Kenneth Biera, it is who hits the front. Edward Kenneth trying to get around the outside of Billy Janeiro. They're side by side for second at the back in blue. It's Piotr Spiderski. But it's Kenneth Biera, the uh, multiple Danish under 21 champion. Ian Badluck had some bad luck with injuries throughout his career, but he leads the way in this one. Pulling up at the back in blue is Piotr Spiderski. So the Ipswich man's uh, race run early. In second place in red, we see Billy Janeiro for the Coventry Bees holding off. Edward Kennett all the way, son of Dave Kennett, of course, former East Warm rider himself. Kenneth Piera leads the way. Man in red, Billy Janeiro, the Californian, in second now being chased down by Edward Kennett in green. Kodras Fiderski is still going at the back with a long, long way behind. Still this battle going on for second, coming around to take the chequered flag in yellow. It's a win for Kenneth Piera. Second does go to Billy Janeiro in red. Third place is Edward Kennett for Eastbourne in green. And Piotr Spiderski has retired to the pits. So bad luck for the uh, pole on his track debut. But a great win there, blasting off from the outside. Kenneth Biera for the Peterborough Panthers. He takes the win in heat number two. Billy Janeiro second, Edward Kennett in third. Piotr Spiderski fails to finish. Heat number three at the tapes then, and going off the inside gate in red for Swindon is Troy Batchelor. Gate two for the Lakeside Harris is Jonas Davidson. Gate three for Bellevue Aces in green is Charlie Guetta. And off the outside for Poole in yellow is Davy Watt. Well, there is Troy Batchelor, a late replacement for the Croatian sensation. Eureka Pavlic is out with a knee injury tonight. The Australian, another former Isle of Wight man, he's raced for Kings Lynn as well. He goes off the inside gate in red, just signaling for the green lights to be shown there. Gate two for the Lakeside Hammers in blue, Jonas Davidson, another late replacement for his skipper Lee Lanham tonight. Jonas Davidson just back from injury. He goes off gate two in blue, the Swede. Gate three, the Dane, Charlie Yether, began his uh, British career with Swindon in 1998. And off the outside in yellow, pulls Australian at Davy Watt. Here we go then with heat number three. Bachelor, Davidson, Yether and Watt takes up and away they go. Good start by the man in blue. Jonas Davidson hits the first turn in the lead. Coming around on the outside is Davy Watt in yellow. Trying to get around Troy Batchelor and he goes second. Good ride by Davy Watt. Keeping the power on as they come into turns three and four. He's trying to go from third to first around the outside of Jonas Davidson. As he got in there side by side as they come into turn number three. Turn number one for the second time. But it's Jonas Davidson, the Swede, who holds the lead. Jonas played a... Uh, Major role for Lakeside on Monday in their uh, Elite League playoff final defeat to the Pool Pirates. Battling with the man now in second place behind him, Davy Watt. They come round turn number four in third place is the man in red, Troy Batchelor, Charlie Yedder at the back for the Bellevue Aces. But Jonas Davidson going very well indeed on his track debut here at Perry Bar. And that Swedish under 21 champion takes the win in blue. Second place in yellow is Davy Watts, Troy Batchelor in third, Charlie Yedder at the back for the Bellevue Aces. So three points to the Lakeside man in that one, Jonas Davidson it is who takes the win 
holding off an outside attack early on from Davy Watt as he tried to go from third to first, but Davy Watt has to settle for second. Troy Batchelor in third place, Charlie Guetta at the back. On to heat number four then, and after this, each rider will have completed their first ride. Going off the inside gate in red for the Eastbourne Eagles is Lewis Bridger. Gate two in blue for Ipswich is Rory Schlein. Gate three for Wolverhampton in green is Niels Christian Everson. And off the outside in yellow for Peterborough is Danny King. Where is uh, Lewis Bridger, the teenage star for the Eastbourne Eagles? He replaces Hans Andersen in tonight's meeting after the Danish Grand Prix star crashed at Bellevue on Monday and damaged his shoulder. So Lewis Bridger goes off gate one in red. Gate two in blue, Rory Schlein transferred from Coventry to the Witches in mid-season. Part of the Hans Andersen deal. He certainly proved a worthy heat leader. The Australian for the Witches. He's off gate two in blue, gate three in green. Former Oxford and Peterborough man Niels Christian Everson race for Newport in the Premier League as well. He's off gate three for Wolverhampton in green. Off the outside in yellow, Peterborough's young gun Danny King. Here we go then with heat number four. Bridger, Schlein, Everson and King. Green light is on. Tapes up and away we go. It's a good start for the man in blue. Gate two working once again for Rory Schlein, but he's gone wide there. On the first turn, it's Lewis Bridger up the inside. Bridger takes the lead, tries to move out to block Rory Schlein, but the Australian back around the outside. Coming around in yellow is Danny King. Nils Christian Everson at the back in green, but he goes up the inside now. King, anybody's race this one in heat number four. Nils Christian Everson up the inside as the man in yellow goes down. We've lost Danny King in the air fence on turn number one. He has remounted, but your leader in blue is Rory Schlein. Lewis Bridger second in red. Nils Christian Everson looking to take the first point tonight for a Wolverhampton rider in third place in green. Lewis Bridger looking back to see where the Dane is as they go down the back straight. Going clear at the front is Ipswich's Australian. Rory Schlein began his uh, Premier League career in 2002 with the Edinburgh Monarchs. Then moved through into the Elite League with Bellevue. A couple of seasons with Coventry where he fought back after a serious back injury. And now an Ipswich rider and he takes the win here in heat number four. Second place goes to Lewis Bridger. And coming across the line, slowing up there in third is Niels Christian Everson. Danny King, an unlucky faller in that one, just slid out into the air fence on turn number two. But it's Rory Schlein in with the win in heat number four. He takes the three points. Lewis Bridger in second. Niels Christian Everson comes in in third. So that's every rider has completed their first race. With me now, winner of heat four, Rory Schlein. Great there, start for the meeting for you. Yes. Uh, Made a start, you know, kept out of trouble. Lewis gave me a bit of a run there for a couple of laps, but I think if you, if you can get your wheels in line quick tonight and get out in front, you know, it's going to be a lot easier than what if you're at the back. Now, it's your first time here at this particular track. How did you find it? No, I've ridden here once before. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I did an open meet near last year, so we sort of sort of know what it's like, but the, the surface is a bit different tonight, so, you know, we're going to make a small change. So. Super. Well, good luck for the rest of the meeting. Cheers. Ta. So into the second round of heats then, this is heat number five, gate one. A faller last time out in red is Danny King. Gate two for Poole in blue is Chris Holder. Gate three for Coventry in green, Billy Janeiro. And off the outside in yellow for Bellevue, Charlie Yedder. There is Danny King hoping to complete the distance this time. Slid off into the air fence on turn number two in the previous race. Heat number four while challenging Niels Christian Everson. So he'll be hoping for some points on the board this time. Gate number one, Danny King in red. Gate two in blue, a second behind Jason Crump in heat number one. The pool. Australian Chris Holder. Next to him, going off gate number three in green, Billy Janeiro. Two points for the Americans so far. The outside, hope he's open. Here's a count. This one is Charlie Yedder for Bellevue. Here we go then with heat number five. King, Holder, Janeiro, and Yedder across the tapes. Away they go. Chris Holder, a great start in blue. He leads him into the first turn, locking up slightly on the outside. There is Billy Janeiro. That allows Charlie Yedder throw on the inside into third place behind Danny King, who's got away much, much better this time. He chases Chris Holder at the front of the field. Charlie Yedder going for dirt on the outside. He holds off Billy Janeiro side by side there for third place. They're closing in on Danny King, running a slightly wider line to those behind him. But clearing away at the front in this one is Chris Holder. Charlie Yedder there, leg trailing around turns three and four. You don't see that too often now. But there is Chris Holder going clear in blue. Danny King and Charlie Yedder looking set to open their accounts in this one. Billy Janeiro second in heat five at the back in this one but Chris Holder will of course be the overall leader if he stays ahead in this one but uh, he'll be the first race winner to have completed two rides and the young Australian champion leads them around the final turn it's going to be a win for the Paul Pirates Chris Holder in blue second place in red goes to Danny King 
third in yellow is Charlie Guetta and Billy Janeiro at the back in green. So we're used to seeing Australians uh, taking wins here at Perivar, of course, with Jason Lyons and Craig Watson, the Brummies Heat leaders. But tonight, it's the Elite League stars doing the winning. Chris Holder, your winner in heat number five. Danny King in second. Charlie Guetta in third. Billy Janeiro at the back. On to heat number six then, and off gate one in red for Ipswich is Roy Schlein. Gate two for Swindon in blue, Troy Batchelor. Gate three in green for Bellevue is Jason Crump, and off the outside is Eastbourne's Edward Kennett in yellow. So Rory Schlein, the winner of heat number four, looking to make it two wins out of two in this one, hoping to take the title to Foxhall Heath for the Ipswich Witches. He's off gate one in red, gate two in blue, Troy Batcher, the late replacement for Swindon teammate Eureka Pavlich. He's got one point to his name so far. Next to him, off gate number three in green, heat one winner. Jason Crump. So two heat winners come together in this one then. Jason Crump and Rory Schlein. Completing the lineup off the outside in yellow is Edward Kennett. Just one point for the Eastbourne Young Gun from his first ride in heat number two. Oh, the track certainly in good shape here tonight. The track curators have done us proud. Pretty good racing surface for this Elite League Riders' Championship. Start Marshal Keith Kershaw in pulls into line. Just waiting for Edward Kennett to settle in gate number four in yellow. So Schlein and Crump race winners earlier on. We'll see if one of, them, one of them can make it a double in this one. The full lineup from the inside. It's Schlein, Batchelor, Crump and Kennett. Here we go then. Away they go for heat number six. It's a good start for Jason Crump in green. But the man in blue, Troy Batchelor. What a start for the Swindon man. He leads them down the back straight. Crump in second. And Rory Schlein now under pressure for third place from Edward Kennett. Crump tries the outside line as they come off turn number four. Batchelor moves to block him. And this would be a surprise here if Jason Crump was a taste defeat so early on in the meeting. Troy Batchelor is pulling away following a phenomenal start from gate number two. Can Jason Crump close in on him? Turn four, the outside line is the favoured passing place. Trying to get round there is Edward Kennett. And he switches back to the inside now, trying to get ahead of Rory Schlein for that third place. The only non-Aussie in this race, so once again it's an Australian one, two, three. But at the front of the field, not the Aussie we expect to see winning in this one, Troy Batchelor. It is who leads the way. Jason Crump could have to settle for second here. Still the battle going on for third place. Rory Schlein still ahead of Edward Kennett. But coming round the final turn, it's going to be a win for the Swindon man in blue. Troy Batchelor takes it. Second in green is Jason Crump and third in red, Rory Schlein. So something of an unexpected result there in heat number six. Troy Batchelor taking the win. Surprised to see Jason Crump, one of the fastest riders in the Elite League, take a defeat here. Then shows how the uh, riders are starting to learn this new neutral venue here tonight then. So that moves Troy Batchelor on to four points. Jason Crump on five. Rory Schlein on to four. And Edward Kennett stays on one point in heat number six. Here we go then with heat number seven. The lineup as follows. Gate one in red for Lakeside is Jonas Davidson. Gate two for Eastbourne in blue is Lewis Bridger. Gate three in green for Ipswich is Piotr Swiderski. Off the outside in yellow for Wolves is Freddie Lindgren. Well, a winner earlier on in heat number three. In a surprisingly quick time of 57.5 seconds was Jonas Davidson, the young Swede. Long-time rival of Freddie Lindgren's is off the outside in this one, so we'll see how they get on against each other. Gate two in blue, Lewis Bridger. On two points so far, the late replacement for Hans Anderson. Gate three in green, hoping for better luck this time, retired in uh, heat number two. That's uh, Piotr Svidersky, and off the outside in yellow, Freddie Lindgren for Wolves. Here we go then. Heat number seven, Davidson, Bridger, Svidersky, and Lindgren. Away they go, a little bit of a roller for Lewis Bridger there. He goes level with Davidson into the first turn. Who's going to come out with the lead? They're still side by side, Svidersky. Where did that come from? An amazing move by the pole. My word, between Lewis Bridger and Jonas Davidson, who has he lost it there on turn number four? Can he hold off Bridger? Down the inside comes the Englishman. The best race of the night so far in his heat of seven. Svidersky back around the outside, he retakes the lead. Well, he certainly cured those bike problems from heat number three. Heat number two, I should say. And he leads the way. Lewis Bridger second, Davidson is third at the back once again is Freddie Lindgren. So his experience of the Birmingham track from 2007 not helping him here. But what a turnaround by Piotr Svidersky, the Ipswich man. Looks a shadow of his usual self in uh, heat number two. But an amazing move there to go between Lewis Bridger and Jonas Davidson, who are now scra scrapping over second on the back straight there. That's one of the moves of the season here at Perry Bar. Taking the win then, Piotr Svidersky.
an amazing ride from the pole. Lewis Bridges second, Jonas Davidson in third. And once again, no points yet to score tonight, Freddie Lindgren. So, Fyodor Svidersky, your race winner in heat number seven. He moves on to three points. Lewis Bridger on to four. Jonas Davidson also on four after his first two rides. And Freddie Lindgren yet to score. So here you go then with heat number eight, the last in the uh, second round of races in this Elite League Riders Championship. Gate one in red for Swindon is Lee Adams. Gate two in blue is Peter Bruce, Kenneth Bierra. Gate three for Poole in green is Davey Watson off the outside. For Wolverhampton in yellow is Nils Christian Everson. Well, an uncharacteristic uh, ride at the back for Lee Adams, the, one of the Elite League's highest all-time point scorers in heat number one. He finished third behind Jason Crump and Chris Holder. So he aims to hit the front in this one off gate number one in red, Lee Adams. Gate two in blue, hoping for his second win of the night is Kenneth Bierra, good ride around the outside in heat number two, but this time he's off gate number two in blue. Off gate three in green is uh, the late replacement for Bjarne Pedersen, is Davey Watt, he's a pool teammate of a former Isle of Wight rider. Plenty of Australians have started their careers down on the Isle of Wight. He's one of them, Davey Watt in green, outside in yellow for the Wolves. One point to his name so far, Niels Christian Everson. His first full season as a Wolves heat leader. Former Peterborough and Oxford man. Here we go then with heat number eight. Adams, Pierre, Watt and Everson. Away they go. Who's going to win the race for the first turn? It's Lee Adams who hits the front in red. Pierre trying to get up the inside of him. They're side by side as they come off turn number two. Third place in green is David Watt. Niels Christian Everson at the back in yellow. Watt trying the big handful around the outside there as they come off turn number four. But it hasn't worked for him. It's still Adams who leads it. Pierre in second. If it stays like this, we'll have no rider unbeaten tonight after their first two rides so already. The possibility of a maximum in the qualifiers looking highly unlikely unless Kenneth Vieira can have chased down Lee Adams here. Certainly a tall order of one of the Elite League's finest ever riders, one of their highest ever point scorers, probably the best rider in Speedway today not to win a world championship, Lee Adams. Kenneth Vieira, recently qualified as a Grand Prix rider for 2009, the Peter Rapantha in second place here ahead of Davey Watts, Niels Christian Everson adrift at the back in yellow. But looking all set for his first win of the night, and that means in the first eight races we've had eight different winners, Lee Adams takes the win in heat number eight in red. Second place in blue is Kenneth Bierra. And third place in green, Davey Watson at the back in yellow, Niels Christian Everson. So, already, no chance for maximum in the qualifiers here tonight. Eight different winners from the first eight races. That moves Lee Adams on to four points. Kenneth Bierra is on five. Davey Watt moving on to three. Niels Christian Everson remaining on one. So every rider completing two rides then. That was heat number eight. Well, after eight heats, every rider now completed two races at this Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship and no rider unbeaten so far. We've had eight different race winners so far. At the top of the score chart on five points, we've got Chris Holder and Jason Crump along with Kenneth Bier as well. Next on four, we've got uh, Lee Adams along with uh, Troy Batchelor, Jonas Davidson and Rory Schlein with Lewis Bridger on four as well. Next on three points, we've got Piotr Svidersky for Ipswich, then Davy Watts for Poole. Two points so far are Billy Janeiro and also Danny King. Heat nine and the first of the third round of races on the way next. It's on to heat number nine then, and going off the inside gate in red for Eastbourne is Edward Kennett. Gate two in blue for Wolves is Niels Christian Everson. Gate three for Poole in green is Chris Holder, and off the outside for Lakeside is Jonas Davidson. So Edward Kennett, been a tough night so far for the England international. Virtually went straight into the Elite League, of course, with the Eastbourne Eagles. Did spend a season in the conference with Rye House, first of all. Rode to them in the Premier as well. But almost straight into the Eastbourne side, as Lewis Bridger has done, Edward Kennett. He's off gate one in red, gate two in blue. Just one point to Niels Christian Everson's name so far. He'll aim to improve in this one. Gate three in green, joint leader, along with Jason Crump and Kenneth Vieira on five points. Going into this one is Chris Holder. And off the outside in yellow is Jonas Davidson, one of around five riders on four points so far. As we're going to heat number nine, Kenneth Everson, Holder and Davidson away from the line. Who's going to get the whole shot towards the first turn? It's the man in blue, Niels Christian Everson, cuts across the front of the man on the inside, Edward Kennett. Has he got in the lead? No, it hasn't, because Chris Holder shoots around the outside into turn number three. And it's the Australian who leads once again. Everson looking revitalised in this one in blue in second place. Edward Kennett 
got uh, rather shut out on the first turn once again. He's in third at the back in yellow is Jonas Davidson in this one. So the Lakeside Man's Knight has turned around to win the third place, but he's at the back in this one. Looks like Niels Christian Everson had got the advantage as they came off turn number two, but Chris Holder found the grip on the outside and shot straight into the race lead. Dropped just one point from his first two rides. That was to Jason Crump in heat one, but this will put him into the overall lead if he takes the win here. Going very wide in red there is Edward Kennett in third. He's holding off Jonas Davidson. And it's going to be a win once again for the Pool Pirates. The Australian champion Chris Holder takes it. Who's going to be second? Niels Christian Everson just holds off Edward Kennett with a last bend lunge there. And at the back in yellow is Jonas Davidson. Well, Chris Holder, a fine win there. For the Australians, is he going to come round? No, he's not. <laughs> Nobody's been round on a victory lap so far tonight. Not too sure why that is. But that moves Chris Holder onto eight points with the win there. Niels Christian Everson up to three. Edward Kennett with just two. Chris Holder is going to come round. After all that, must have been listening to me. He celebrates with a wheelie on the home straight. So well done to Chris Holder. Moving on to eight points. Just one dropped from his uh, first three rides. He's on eight points. Niels Christian Everson on three. Edward Kennett two. And Jonas Davidson stays on four. With me now, Chris Holder, eight from three. Great start to your meeting this evening. Yeah, it's perfect. I uh, didn't make a real good start in the first one, and it's always tough. The first race is hard to pass and whatever, but I was happy with second. It was a tough heat and won the last couple. It's great. Now, your first year in the Elite League, and being here tonight is a real good measure of your success so far. Yeah, I see it. I was stoked to be here. Like, um, not every time, or not everyone gets a chance to ride in the meeting, so that's great, and hopefully I can make the top three. Super. Now, in company of many GP riders, talk of um, possibilities of you going there. So, um, good practice against these guys for you. Yeah, it's it. It's, GPs are really tough, so you've got to perform in meetings like this, and it's going all right so far. Good. Thanks for talking to us. No so, lining up for heat number 10, then. Gate 1 for Poole in red is Davey Watt. Gate 2 for Coventry in blue, Billy Janeiro. Gate 3 in green is Eastbourne's Lewis Bridger. And off the outside in yellow will be Jason Crump for Bellevue. So Davey Watt, a fine ride in his previous appearance in heat number eight, blasting around the outside, but uh, only able to take third place. The pool man is on three points so far. He goes off gate number one in red. Next to him in blue is Billy Janeiro, late replacement for Chris Bomber-Harris going into this one. He's on just two points from his first two rides. He goes off gate two in blue. Gate three in green, representing Eastbourne, is Lewis Bridger on four points so far, which puts him joint third. So Lewis Bridger off gate number three in green, off the outside in yellow. One of the favourites for tonight's meeting on five points from his first two rides, surprisingly beaten by Troy Batchelor. Last time out, Jason Crump goes in yellow. Well, so far, only one rider has won two races, and that was Chris Holdo who took the win in heat number nine to follow up his success in heat five. And we'll see if Jason Crump can join him in this one with his second win of the night. All the other three riders yet to take a race win, so I'll be aiming to defeat the Bellevue man in this one. This is heat number 10. Watts, Janeiro, Bridger and Crump. Revs rise, takes rise, and away they go. That's a flying start for the man in green, Lewis Bridger. It's Crump who hits the front of the first turn, tries to take Bridger out wide, but that pushes Bridger into the dirt. He picks it up and takes the lead. Crump now trying to hold off the man in the inside, Davy Watts. They're side by side for second. Through on the inside comes Watts, so Crump is down to third. Jason Crump down to third, and he's dropping to fourth there briefly on the outside of Billy Janeiro. He now fights back. So Jason Crump, don't forget, he's got to get into the top two to get an automatic place in the grand final. The next four scorers go in the semi-final. Well, the leader in this one is Lewis Bridger, Davy Watt in second, and Jason Crump now under pressure from the man in blue, Billy Janeiro, for third place. A last place for Jason Crump is certainly pretty big news in the Speedway world, it has to be said. One of the fastest riders in World Speedway, but only back in third place here behind Lewis Bridger and Davey Watt. Bridger clearing away at the front of the field. And he takes the win in green. Second in red is Davey Watt. Third place goes to Jason Crump in yellow and Billy Janeiro at the back in blue. So a scare there slightly for Jason Crump, just one point from heat number 10, but Lewis Bridger, the teenage Eastbourne sensation, is your race winner. It looks like he's going to come round for his victory lap. 
He'll celebrate with his trademark wheelie on the home straight then. Lewis Bridger, young England international, and a star for the Eastbourne Eagles, taking the win in heat number 10. That will move him on to seven points. Davy Watts now on five. Jason Crump on six. And Billy Janeiro remains on two. On to heat number 11 of this 2008 Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship. And going off the inside gate for Peterborough in red is Kenneth Biera. Next to him for Bellevue in blue is Charlie Yedda. Gate three in green for Wolves. Yet to get off the mark is Freddie Lindgren. Off the outside for Ipswich in yellow is Rory Schlein. So Kenneth Biera on five points so far. One of the three joint leaders after the first two rounds of heats. He's on five points so far. Dropped a point to Lee Adams, of course, in heat number eight. He'll aim to get back on top in this heat number 11. Next to him for Bellevue in blue is Charlie Guetta. Just one point to the Danes' name so far. One of Bellevue's top riders these days next to Jason Crump, gate three. Freddie Lindgren in green. No points from his first two rides. Something of a surprise for a man with experience off the Perivar track. Going off the outside in yellow, Rory Schlein on four points so far. Let's see how he gets on in this heat number 11. Biera, Geller, Lindgren and Schlein take tries and away we go. Great start by the man in green this time. Freddie Lindgren, he takes the man in yellow. Rory Schlein out wide, but he's lost out there to Kenneth Biera in red. It's Biera who leads down the back straight for the first time. Lindgren in second, Geller in third. Still in touch at the back there is Rory Schlein after being sent wide on the first turn by Freddie Lindgren. Schlein now up the inside of Charlie Yedda in blue. Has he got third place? Yes, he has. He cuts across in front of the Dane there, going into turn number three. Rory Schlein up to third. But Kenneth Vieira will share the lead once again with Chris Holder if he stays where he is out in front. Freddie Lindgren chasing, but the gap getting bigger and bigger all the time. Lindgren will get off the mark in this one with two points into the last lap they go. It's Kenneth Vieira who leads. Rory Schlein is closing slightly on Lindgren there, using a wider line than the Swede. But they've got no answer to the Peterborough Panther, four times Danish under-21 champion and a Grand Prix rider next year. Kenneth Vieira takes the win, just failing to take second place there on the line is Rory Schlein, with Freddie Lindgren slowing up in the closing stages. And no points to Charlie Yedda in that one once again. But your winner, moving on to eight points, is Kenneth Vieira. He's going to head back to the pits. Freddie Lindgren opens his score for the night on two. Rory Schlein moves on to five. And Charlie Yedda stays on one. Well, this is heat number 12 then, the final race of the third round of heats for each rider. And off the inside gate for this one in red for Peterborough is Daniel King. Gate two in blue for Swindon is Lee Adams. Gate three in green also for the Robins is Troy Batchelor. And off the outside for Ipswich is Piotr Svidersky. So potentially a very spectacular race indeed here. Daniel King has been our only faller so far tonight. He came off in heat number four. And on two points then as he goes into his third ride, the Peterborough young gun Danny King goes off the inside gate in red. Gate two in blue, Lee Adams, four points to his name so far, a winner last time out in heat number eight. Gate three in green, Troy Batcher, a fabulous ride last time out, taking the win in a time of 56.9 seconds, the fastest so far. Piotr Svidersky completes the lineup. we've seen what he can do earlier on, away they go then for heat number 12. And they level into that first turn, Batchelor's going to get sent wide by Adams, and the two Swindon riders come together, Adams shoots around the outside, he takes the lead, and again, we see Piotr Svidersky making good use of that back straight, he's side by side with Danny King, slightly out of shape on the outside there, and King holds his line, holds the throttle in, and he goes back into second on the outside of Piotr Svidersky. Spidersky tries the outside, the inside line rather once again as they come off turn number two. Briefly side by side there, King finds the grip on that wider line. He holds second place. It's Adams that leads from King. Spidersky in third and Troy Batchelor at the back this time. The man with the fastest time of the night so far in heat number six when he defeated Jason Crump. That was a full second faster than Crump's time in heat number one. But Lee Adams going to be his second win in succession here in blue, the Swindon Robin. Surely the best rider in Speedway today without a World Championship title. He's going to take the win, his second of the night here in blue. Second place in uh, red there, it was Danny King. Third in yellow, Piotr Svidersky, and we see Troy Batchelor slowing up there as he crossed the line. I think the riders just uh, came round to lap him there as they crossed the line. So no points for Troy Batchelor in that one, but Lee Adams, three points for him. He moves on to seven. Danny King onto four, Piotr Svidersky on four, 
and Troy Batchelor. No scoring that one. He stays on four. So there's our race winner. Swindon Robbins, club legend, their all-time highest point scorer in British League Speedway, Lee Adams. Just failed to lead the team to the Elite League title last season when they were defeated by the Coventry Bees in the playoff final. But Lee Adams, your race winner in heat number 12. So 12 heats gone then, every rider having completed three rides now. And even after two, we had uh, no rider unbeaten. So the leaders so far on eight points. We've got uh, Chris Holder and also Kenneth Bierre top of the tree at the moment with eight points apiece. Next in line on seven, it's Lee Adams. Also on seven, we have Lewis Bridger, who started very well indeed, the late replacement for Hans Anderson. Next in line on six points is Jason Crump. Behind him on five, we have Rory Schlein and also Davey Watt. A few riders on four points next in line. It's Piotr Svidersky, Troy Batchelor, Jonas Davidson and Danny King. Then on three points, Niels Christian Everson for Wolverhampton. On two, it's uh, fellow Wolf Freddie Lindgren along with Billy Janeiro and Edward Kennett. And bringing up the rear with just one point is Charlie Jader. So 12 heats gone so far then. The fourth round of races to come. Heat 13 on the way in just a moment. With me now, Lee Adams. Tough first race, but then good two wins, taking you on to seven after three. Yeah, it was. It was um, it was a tough one off four in my first one. It was a little bit greasy and uh, first time around the track, I guess. But, uh, you know, we've got a couple of wins. We've just got to keep battling away and, and try and finish in that top two, put us straight through to the final. How important would a win at this type of meeting be for you? Well, I've never won it, so it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, good luck for the rest of the meeting. We'll speak to you later. Excellent. Thank you. Cheers. Here we go then with heat number 13 then. And it's Paul V. Ipswich, because we've got in red representing the Witches, Piotr Svidersky. Gate two in blue for the Pirates is Davey Watt. Gate three in green for the Witches is Rory Schlein. Off the outside in yellow, Chris Holder, our joint leader for Paul. There is Piotr Svidersky. He's certainly been the most spectacular rider here so far tonight in heat number seven, going between Lewis Bridger and Jonas Davidson on the back straight. We'll see what he can produce here. Piotr Svidersky on at four points so far. He's off gate number one. Gate two, Davey Watt in blue. Piani Pedersen's replacement on five points so far. Yet to take a race win. Just pulling back from the tape. So we'll see what he can do in this one. Gate three. For Ipswich in this one is Rory Schlein. Also on five points so far. A winner earlier on in heat number four. The former Coventry B. Off the outside gate in yellow. Joint leader so far with Kenneth Bierra. Both on eight points. Chris Holder dropped his only point in the opening race tonight to Jason Crump. Let's see if Chris can make it three wins in a row in this one. He's up against the Ipswich pairing, if you like. Rory Schlein in green and Piotr Spiderski in red. Another Paul Pirates, Davey Watt completes the line up in blue in this heat number 13. Away they go. Good start by Watt in blue and by Schlein. They go level into the first turn. Going around the outside, it's Schlein who hits the front in green. Holder trying to get around outside there, but he's forced back by Davey Watt, who takes him wide in a turn number three at the back in red this time is Piotr Svidersky. We'll see what he can do from the back earlier on. Chris Holder, though, down in third place, the joint leader on points. Needs to stay in that top two to guarantee himself a place in the grand final and avoid the sudden death semi for the next four scorers. Davey Watt there, the pool man going well in second place, but stretching his lead is Rory Schlein in green, looking for his second win of the night. There is the Ipswich rider coming off turn number four to start his final lap. Rory Schlein leads it. Clear in second now it is Davey Watts. Chris Holder down in third. Piotr Svidersky at the back. So it looks like it's going to be points shared between Ipswich and Poole in this one. The win is going to go to Rory Schlein in green. In second place in blue is Davey Watts. Chris Holder third in yellow. And Piotr Svidersky at the back in red. So it's a second win of the night to the young Australian. Once again, beating off two of his uh, fellow countrymen. The field jam-packed with Australians here tonight, proving that they are currently the world's leading speedway nation. Chris Holder, though, down in third in that one. So that's his uh, total moving on to nine points. That could allow Kenneth Pierre into the overall lead. He goes in the next race, seat number 14. But coming around to take the applause of the Ipswich fans, and indeed all the fans here tonight from all nine clubs of the Elite League and beyond. Rory Schlein taking the win. He moves on to eight points. Davy Watt on seven. Chris Holder moves on to nine. And Piotr Svidersky's total stays on four. Chris 
So rise at the tapes then for heat number 14 of this Remo Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship. Gate number one in red for Bellevue is Jason Crump. Gate two in blue for Peterborough, Danny King, his fellow Panther, Kenneth Bierra off gate three in green. Off the outside in yellow is Jonas Davidson for the Lakeside Hammers. So Jason Crump pegged back to third place in his previous ride by Lewis Bridger and Davey Watt in heat number ten. Who will aim to bounce back to winning ways this one. He's off the inside gate in red. Jason Crump, gate two in blue. An up and down evening so far. Literally and metaphorically for Danny King. A fall being followed by two second places. He'll aim to go one better this time. Gate two in blue. Gate three in green. Kenneth Bierra, the joint leader after 12 heats. Just one point dropped so far. It was to Lee Adams in heat number eight. The Dane goes off the third gate in green. Off the outside in yellow is Jonas Davidson. Four points to his name so far, including a fine win in heat number three. Keith Kershaw pulls them into line then. Down there on the start line, heat number 14. Can Kenneth Bierra extend that lead? It's Crump, King, Bierra and Davidson. Takes up and away they go. A great start by Kenneth Bierra once again. He goes level with Jason Crump in the first turn. They almost touch. They both go wide. And it's Crump who leads as they come off turn two. Bierra back around the outside now. Of oh, Danny King in the second place at the back in yellow is Jonas Davidson once again. So Jason Crump looking to get back to winning ways in this one. Trying to take his second win of the evening. He heads around on that wider line. That's where the grip is. Kenneth Bierra going well in second. That'll keep his overall lead if he stays on the one at 10 points. Danny King going well in third place but no team riding of course the Peter, from the Peterborough pair in this one it's an all out every man for himself individual meeting here at Perry Bar tonight Donas Davidson at the back in yellow so looks like uh, the chance of success for the Lakeside Hammers in this Elite League Riders Championship slipping away have to get into the top six to get in the semi-final or the final don't forget and Jason Crump certainly going the right way about it as he pulls away from the second place man Kenneth Vieira Jason Crump takes the win in red Vieira in second in green, third place in blue goes to Danny King, and at the back in yellow is Jonas Davidson. So great stuff there from the Wizard of Oz. This is Christian by our DJ tonight, Jason Crump taking the win. He moves on to nine points. Kenneth Vieira keeps the overall lead on ten. Danny King moves on to five, and Jonas Davidson remains on four points. So lining up for heat number 15 then, both Wolves riders out in this one. Gate one in red is Niels Christian Everson and gate two in blue, Freddie Lindgren. Gate three for Swindon in green is Troy Batchelor and off the outside in yellow for Coventry is Billy Janeiro. Well, a slightly improved performance from Niels K. Everson last time out in heat number nine, taking second place behind Chris Holder. He'll game to go one better. It's heat number 15, he's off gate one in red. Gate two in blue. Just one, just two points rather so far for Freddie Lindgren. A second place last time out behind Kenneth Bierra in heat number 11. The Wolves skipper once again aiming to improve in this one. Gate three. The surprise packet of the night really. Troy Batchelor in green. A late replacement for his Swindon teammate Eureka Pavlich in this one. And uh, Troy so far on four points, including a win over Jason Crump. Completing the lineup off the outside. Coventry's man, Billy Janeiro, the replacement for Chris Bomber Harris. Here we go then with Heat 15, Everson, Lindgren, Bachelor, and Janeiro. And a bit of movement there from Janeiro in yellow. The red lights have come on from referee Ronnie Allen. Well, a ragged start there to Heat number 15. Looks like it was uh, the man in yellow, Billy Janeiro, who moved off early. Referee rules unsatisfactory start, so it'll be all four riders coming straight back round for the rerun. Looks like a bit of movement there was towards the outside, so possibly Billy Janeiro, the uh, culprit there. The Wolves pairing off the inside. Niels Christian Everson and Freddie Lindgren. They will face Peterborough next week, of course, in the Elite League's first ever relegation playoff. The losers in that one going on to face the winners of the Premier League playoffs to see who will be in which division next season. Could have been a tough season for the Wolves this year, rooted to the bottom of the Elite League. But Niels Christian Everson and Freddie Lindgren will aim to bounce back in this one. Troy Batchelor goes off gate three in the green helmet. And off the outside in yellow is Billy Janeiro. This is heat number 15. We'll try again, away they go, they get away. They start a good gate by Lindgren in blue. He heads him into the first turn. Everson backing up his second, but Troy Batchelor, great move down the outside. Has he got the lead? Up the inside on turn number two, not quite getting ahead of Lindgren there. Lindgren now goes wide, Batchelor to the inside, cuts across the front of Everson, who's now trying that inside line, and Batchelor changes his line, Everson down the inside, great race for the three places in this one, at the back in yellow it's Billy Janeiro, 
but Batchelor just holds off Everson for second place. Everson now changes his line to go to the outside. Great fight for second place. Freddie Lindgren missing on the front. He's out in front of Everson. Great move there on the home straight. He goes second on the outside of Troy Batchelor. Holds him off on turn number two, and Niels Christian Everson makes it a Wolverhampton 1-2 in this heat number 15. Everson will now attack his Wolves teammates as they go into the last lap. Everson knows where the drive is. He's going for a gap up on the outside there on Freddie Lindgren. Lindgren just holds the advantage. It's going to be a very close finish between these two. Has Everson lost it there? Just holds on a bit on the outside, but it's going to be a win for Freddie Lindgren. Just in blue. Second place in red to Niels Christian Everson. Troy Batchelor taking third in green and Billy Janeiro at the back in yellow. So that's effectively a Wolves 5-1. <laughs> Freddie Lindgren taking his first win of the night. Backed up by Niels Christian Everson, a superb ride from the Dane around the outside there. And that moves Lindgren onto five points. Everson also onto five. Troy Batchelor onto five as well. And Billy Janeiro remains on two. Winner coming round then. Wolverhampton skipper. Freddie Lindgren. Been a Wolves rider for several seasons now, an inspirational leader for the club and a Grand Prix rider in 2008 as well, coming third in his home Grand Prix in Sweden. But taking the win there in heat number 15 of this Elite League Riders' Championship. So heat number 16 then, the last race in the uh, group, the fourth group of races for each rider. Going off gate one for Bellevue in red is Charlie Gether. Gate two for Eastbourne in blue is Edward Kennett. Gate three representing Swindon in green is Lee Adams and off the outside. Also for Eastbourne in yellow is Lewis Bridger. There is Charlie Gether, sadly at the bottom of the score chart so far. Just one point to the Danes name. That coming in his uh, second ride in Heat 5 when he led home Billy Janeiro. The lane to improve in this one. Next to him in blue, off gate number two, is Edward Kennett. Similar night of uh, struggle for the Young England International. Just two points to Edward's name so far. Gate three in green, one of the favourites for the title here tonight. Lee Adams, he could move into the joint lead with Chris Holder if he takes a win here. Completing the line-up off the outside in yellow is Lewis Bridger. Here we go then with Heat number 16. Tapes up, away they go, and it's a great start, predictably, for Adams in green. But he's under pressure there from Edward Kennett on the inside. They come off turn number two, Adams finds a grip. It's three abreast there, Charlie Getter coming through on the inside as well. But it's Adams who hits the front, side by side for second now between Getter and Kennett. And Kennett trying the outside line there, trying to think about an attack on Adams. Here comes the man in yellow as well, they're all over each other up there on turn number two. Kennett somehow holds that second place ahead of Getter. And in yellow, Lewis Bridger still at the back, but it's Lee Adams who heads them round. Edward Kennedy is trying everything. He's running the race of his life on the outside there. Taking a few risks there, coming off turn number four, looking for grip. The dirt moving wider and wider with every race. Edward Kennett looking for it up there on turn number four, but he can't catch the Swindon skipper, Lee Adams. Still in third place is the man in red, Charlie Gedder. At the back in yellow is Lewis Bridger this time. Bridger tries an inside run there, coming down the back straight, but he can't get close to the Bellevue ace. It's going to be a win, though. Second win, third win of the night for Lee Adams in green. Second place in blue goes to Edward Kennett. Charlie Yedder in third place in red, and Lewis Bridger at the back in yellow. So it's a third win from four races for the Swindon skipper, the all-time highest point scorer for the Robins, who uh, reached the milestone of 100 maximums earlier this season in Swindon colours. Virtually unbeatable around the Blunsdon race strip. And now into flying form here at Perry Bars night, taking the applause on the home straight. He's only blip coming with a third place behind fellow countryman Jason Crump and Chris Holder in the opening race tonight. After that, he's reeled off three wins, Lee Adams. And that moves Lee Adams on to ten points for the evening. Edward Kennett with that second place goes on to four. Charlie Yedder on to two. And at the back in that one, Lewis Bridger in yellow. He stays on at seven points. Well, I can tell you that means that... Uh, Kenneth Biera and Lee Adams are now the joint leaders with 10 points apiece. Behind them are Chris Holder and Jason Crump, both on at nine points. So that's your top four as it stands at the moment with one race for each rider to go. So it's into the final round of qualifiers then here at Perry Bar tonight for this Elite League Riders Championship. Lining up for heat number 17 in red for Poole is Chris Holder. Gate two in blue for Peterborough is Kenneth Biera. Gate three in green for Eastbourne is Lewis Bridger. And off the outside is Swindon's Troy Batchelor in yellow. 
What a night so far for Chris Holder. He's in joint third place along with Jason Crump on nine points going into this one. Don't forget, he has to get into that top two to guarantee himself a grand final place. He's off gate one in red. Gate two in blue is Kenneth Pierre, joint top scorer at the moment with uh, Lee Adams. So could it be success for the Adams family or will the Pierre be flowing? Who knows? Gate two in blue, Kenneth Pierre. Gate three in green is Lewis Bridger. A last place last time out in heat 16 his second ride on the trot who ends a bounce back in this one he's on seven so could still get into the semi-final as could this man on five points so they'll still in with a chance troy bachelor the swindon man in yellow here we go then with heat 17 holder beer bridger and bachelor away they go it takes hold of by ronnie allen but it's the man in blue kenneth Pierre who makes the start again coming around the outside now in green is lewis bridger and it's chris holder holds second place on the back straight. Bridger goes to the outside once again as they come into turn number three. But it's Kenneth Bier leading the way once again. This could see him finish as the highest scorer. We'll have to see how Lee Adams gets on in heat number 20. But Bier going about it the right way here in blue. Holding that outside line. Now Holder moves wide, trying to catch up to him. Bridger in third place at the back in yellow is Troy Batchelor. So this will end the Swindon man's hopes if he stays at the back. It's Kenneth Bierre who leads from Chris Holder. They're coming into the last lap this time. Oh, a bit of a slip there for Kenneth Bierre. He holds the advantage. Slipping slightly coming off turn number four. Still in third place, the man in green, Lewis Bridger. But it's going to be a win. The third of the night for Kenneth Bierre in blue. The Peterborough Panther takes in. Second in red is Chris Holder. Lewis Bridger comes over in third in green. At the back in yellow is Troy Batchelor. Oh, what a night this... Uh, Young Dane has had still uh, only in his early 20s, Kenneth Bier, four times Danish under 21 champion and a Grand Prix rider. It was recently confirmed for the 2009 season. He comes round to accept the applause of the uh, Peterborough fans on the home straight there. Great ride to hold off for Chris Holder all the way. That means that Kenneth Bierra has uh, virtually guaranteed himself now of a place in the grand final. He scores 13 points. Chris Holder finishes on 11. Rory Schlein on 8. And Troy Batchelor finishes on 5. So here we go then with heat number 18. Gate 1 for Bellevue in red is Charlie Yedda. His fellow ace, Jason Crump, goes off gate two in blue. Gate three in green, Vipswich is Piotr Svidersky. And off the outside for Wolverhampton in yellow is Niels Christian Everson. Well, Charlie Yedda currently at bottom of the score chart, unfortunately. He will move off the uh, bottom rung if he gets uh, a point here, with Billy Janeiro having withdrawn from his final ride. They're both on two points at the moment. Charlie Yedda aiming to improve off gate one in red. Fellow Bellevue rider, Jason Crump, could get himself a place in the grand final here. The win would move him on to 12 points. Kenneth Pierre already assured of qualification with that win in heat 17. So Jason Crump looking for a win off gate two in blue. Gate three in green. Piotr Svidersky for the Ipswich Witches. Just four points to his name so far. Little rewards in my eyes for a very spectacular performance indeed here tonight. Completing the lineup off the outside in yellow. Five points so far for Wolverhampton's Niels Christian Everson. Here we go then with heat 18. Get it, Crump, Svidersky and Everson. Tapes up and away they go. Great start by Jason Crump in blue. He'll head him into the first turn. Everson goes for dirt on the outside. He goes around Yedda into second place. Coming up the inside now is Piotr Spiderski. Into third place. One of the few riders who's really made that tighter line off turn two work for, tonight, for himself tonight. Piotr Spiderski. He's in the third place. Head of Charlie Yedda. The old Christian Everson ahead of him. But Jason Crump clearing away. Looking for his third win of the night. Niels Christian Everson started off slowly but has got better as the night's gone on. This second place here would move him on to seven points. There's no stopping Jason Crump, twice a world champion, multiple title winner across the whole of the speedway spectrum, ridden for many clubs in England and now a solid performer to say the very least for the Bellevue Aces. Niels Christian Everson going well in second. Charlie Yedda falling away slightly at the back now in red, but it's going to be a win for the man in blue. Jason Crump takes his third win of the night. Niels Christian Everson comes over in second. It's Piotr Svidersky in third and Charlie Yedda at the back. So that will move Jason Crump onto 12 points. And as we said earlier, Kenneth Biera already confirmed as a final qualifier on 13. So Jason Crump needs Lee Adams to finish third or fourth in heat 20 
for him to book himself a place, for Jason Crump to book himself a place in the grand final. He finishes on 12 points. Niels Christian Everson finishes on seven. Piotr Svidersky on five, and Charlie Yeller remains on two. So, lining up for Heat 19, then sponsored by Clean Cut Sports. Off gate one in red for Wolves is Freddie Lindgren. Gate two for Poole in blue is Davey Watt. Gate three for Peterborough in green is Danny King. And off the outside for Eastbourne in yellow is Edward Kennett. Well, Freddie Lindgren was installed among the favourites tonight, given his experience of the Perry Bar track. But sadly, that uh, optimism is unfounded. He's on just five points so far from uh, his first four rides. If he takes a win here, there's still a chance he could get into the uh, semi-finals. But... Uh, Freddie will be going all out off gate one in red, as always, I'm sure. Next to him in blue, late replacement for his teammate Bjarne Pedersen is Davey Watt in blue. He's on seven points so far, three seconds and a third. Gate three in green, Danny King on five points. The only rider to have taken a tumble so far tonight, sliding off in the fourth heat. And off the outside gate in yellow, Edward Kennett. Again, a slightly below par night for the England international so far. Just four points from his first four rides. Start Marshall moves away then for heat number 19. Lindgren, Watt, King and Kennett. Away they go. Good start by Davey Watt in blue. He's chased by Danny King into the first turn. They all move for that outside line, except for Freddie Lindgren, who holds the inside, and he loses out there to Danny King as a result. He drops back into third. It's the man in blue, Davey Watt, who leads. Danny King in second, Lindgren in third, and Edward Kennett coming up now to challenge the Swede on the outside. Round the pits turn they come once again. Kennett not quite able to find the drive to take Lindgren that time. Freddie Lindgren riding certainly a different line to the other three competitors in this heat number 19. Lindgren defending well from Kennett for that third place. It's Davey Watt who leads the way. This could move him on to 10 points and would see him possibly into the semi-final. Second place in green is Danny King. Moving very wide there as they came off turn number four to start the final lap. Closing in slightly on Watt, who lifts there coming off turn number two, moves a bit wide, but manages to avoid the fence. And it looks like it's going to be a win for the Pool Pirates. A first win of the night for Davey Watt in blue. Danny King comes over in second in green. Third place is Freddie Lindgren in red and Edward Kennett at the back in yellow. So that could have just sealed Davey Watt a place in the semi-final. He moves on to 10 points following that win, the uh, pool man. Former Eastbourne rider, of course, began his British career alongside Adam Shields down on the Isle of Wight in the Premier League. Late replacement tonight for uh, Bjarne Pedersen, the uh, Danish Grand Prix rider. Plenty of applause down there. A race winner, Davy Watt in blue. He finishes on 10 points. We'll see if that's enough for him to get into the semi-final. Danny King, meantime, finishing on seven. Freddie Lindgren with six. And Edward Kennett, another last place in that one. He finishes on four. So it's the final heat of the qualifiers then. And going off gate number one, representing Birmingham in red is Jay Hearn, the reserve tonight. Gate two for Ipswich in blue is Rory Schlein. Gate three in green for Lakeside is Jonas Davidson. And off the outside in yellow for Swindon, Lee Adams. Well, there is young Australian Jay Hearn, then coming in to replace Billy Janeiro, who has withdrawn from his final ride. So we're going to get to see a Birmingham Brummie in the Elite League Riders' Championship this year. Jay Hearn, the reserve, off gate one in red. Gate two in blue, it is Rory Schlein, still with hopes of getting into that uh, semi-final. He can score a maximum of 11 if he wins this final ride. He's off gate two in blue. Gate three, it looks like sadly the chance of the title has gone now for Lakeside with Jonas Davidson on just four points from his first four rides. He goes off gate three in green and Lee Adams off the outside in yellow needs to win to put Jason Crump out of the grand final. If he wins, he'll go level on 13 points with Kenneth Pierre. If it's second, Jason Crump will go into the final and count having beaten Adams in heat number one. So here we go then, Hearn, Schlein, Davidson and Adams beat number 20, away they go. And Adams gets the start he wants, but he's forced out there by the man in blue, Rory Schlein. But back up the inside as Schlein locks up on turn number one. The Adams into the lead, Rory Schlein fighting back on the inside. This is a great ride from the Ipswich man, they're side by side for the lead. Third place in green, it is Jonas Davidson as Adams goes through. Cements that lead on the home straight. Jonas Davidson in third place, Jay Hearn. The reserve at the back in red. But if Lee Adams wins here, he'll move on to 13 points and guarantee himself 
a spot in the grand final alongside Kenneth Pierre. Rory Schlein going well in second. That could see, still see him into the semi-final. Jonas Davidson in third. And young Jay Hearn dropping away at the back. So Lee Adams is heading for the grand final. Just the one blip on his score chart when he finished third behind Jason Crump and Chris Holder in heat number one. He takes the win in heat number 20. Second place in blue goes to Rory Schlein. Third place is Jonas Davidson in green. A cheer from the Brummies fans there as Jay Hearn comes in at the back. So Lee Adams, your race winner, he goes on to 13 points, and it's Lee Adams and Kenneth Bierre who qualify for tonight's grand final automatically. Round comes the Swindon man once again, a fourth successive win. Great stuff there from the Swindon number one. He finishes on 13. Rory Schleim with that second place moves on to 10 points and Jonas Davidson on to five. So it looks like we're going to be seeing Jason Crump, Chris Holder, Davey Watt and Rory Schlein in the semi-final. So that's the 20 qualifying heats completed then. The scores are in and they are as follows. Joint highest scorers and guaranteeing their places in tonight's grand final. Lee Adams and Kenneth Bierra both on 13 points. Then we've got Jason Crump on 12, Chris Holder on 11, and Davey Watt and Rory Schlein both on 10. So the next four, that's Crump, Holder, Schlein and Watt go into the semi-finals. Next in the score chart is Lewis Bridger on eight points. Then on seven, we've got Danny King and Niels Christian Everson. Behind them is Freddie Lindgren on six. On five points, we've got Piotr Swiderski, Troy Batchelor and Jonas Davidson. Edward Kennett finished on four. Billy Janeiro and, Char and Charlie Yeda both on two. Jay Hearn, no score from one reserve ride. So I can bring you the lineup then for the All Australian semi final, heat number 21. We'll see Chris Holder go in red. Jason Crump in blue off gate two. Gate three in green will be Rory Schlein. And off the outside in yellow will be Davey Watt. Bit of track grading taking place before we get underway in just a few moments' time with the semi-final. So here we go then with the semi-final. An all-Australian lineup sees Chris Holder for pool off gate one. Gate two for Bellevue is Jason Crump. Gate three for Ipswich, Rory Schley in green. And off the outside in yellow for pool is Davey Watt. The first two in this one, don't forget, go through to the grand final. There is Chris Holder off gate one. Two wins for him in the qualifying heats. 11 points to his name so far, but of course points now out of the window. You've just got to get into that top two in this one to get into the grand final. Chris Holder off the inside then in red. Gate two in blue, Jason Crump. Three wins to his name in the qualifiers. He finished on 12 points, the Bellevue ace. He's off gate number two in blue, gate three in green. It is Rory Schlein, the Ipswich man. Only two wins for him on the programme, secured his qualification with a second place in the final qualifier in heat number 20 behind Lee Adams. Rory Schlein off gate three in green, off the outside. In yellow, Paul's Davy Watts, the late replacement for Bjarni Pedersen. He finished on 10 points as well, including just one race win. Here we go then, with the semi-final, heat number 21. Holder, Crump, Schlein and Watts. The first two going to the final, who are they going to be? Great start by Rory Schlein in green. He'll head him around the outside of Chris Holder in a turn of one, Schlein to the outside, Holder on the inside, it's Schlein who leaps. Holder in second, Jason Crump is back in third, it'll be a surprise if he misses out on the final, he's now around the outside of Holder, here comes Jason Crump, he's in a second on the home straight, here goes Jason Crump on the inside now of Schlein, but it's Rory Schlein who heads him down the back straight. Schlein leads it, Crump through in a second around the outside of Chris Holder at the back in yellow is Davey Watts, but Rory Schlein a great ride here from the Ipswich man. On his Perry Bar debut tonight, great stuff from the Witches. Heat leader transferred from Coventry in mid-season when Hans Anderson joined the Bees. Hans, of course, not fit to ride tonight. He was replaced by Lewis Bridger. Who knows how well he would have done in this Elite League Riders' Championship. It's going to be Rory Schlein and Jason Crump around the final turn. They're heading for the final. Schlein wins it in green, Crump second in blue. Chris Holder, after a brave effort in the qualifiers, bows out, as does Davey Watt. So J Rory Schlein it is who takes the win for the Ipswich Witches. He goes into the final. Jason Crump in second joins him. Chris Holder and Davey Watts bow out. 
So the grand final lineup is now known. It's Kenneth Bier, Lee Adams, Rory Schlein, and Jason Crump. So the lineup is then known for heat number 22, the biggest race at Perry Bar since its reopening in 2007, the 2008 Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship Grand Final. The lineup is as follows. Riding in red for Peterborough is Kenneth Bier. Blue for Swindon is Lee Adams. In green will be Rory Schlein for Ipswich. And in yellow, Jason Crump for Bellevue. Three Australians, one Dane, one of those riders will become Elite League Riders Champion for 2008 over the next four laps. We'll be underway in a moment. So here they come then, the contenders. Leading them up to the tapes in blue, it is Lee Adams. He goes off gate number two. Gate one in red is Kenneth Pierre. Gate three in green, it is Rory Schlein. Off the outside in yellow, for Bellevue will be Jason Crump. Just awaiting Jason to come round to the tapes then. The tension mounting for these riders. There is Kenneth Pierre, the surprise packet of the evening really, off gate number one, celebrating or hoping to celebrate his qualification for the Grand Prix Series 2009 with a win here in this one. Joint top scorer on 13 points. The man in red, Kenneth Biera. He was joint top scorer with this man, Lee Adams, in blue. One of the Elite League's finest riders. Regular Grand Prix winner, but still yet to take that world title. Multiple Australian champion. I have to admit I've lost count of how many wins he's taken in the Australian title each winter. But Lee Adams off gate number two in blue. Less than a minute now till start time. Gate three in green will be uh, Rory Schlein, but there is the man in yellow, Jason Crump, winner of uh, just about every major honour available to him in the Speedway world. The Bellevue ace, been riding in Britain for many years now, and he goes off the outside gates here in yellow. There is the man off gate three, completing the lineup. Rory Schlein for the Ipswich Witches. Began his British career in the Premier League in uh, 2002 with the Edinburgh Monarchs having ridden in the Conference League for the Sheffield Prowlers the previous season. Now a fully-fledged Australian international and a brilliant asset for the Ipswich, which has certainly improved his form since moving from Coventry in mid-season. Here we go then. The riders moving up to tapes. Seconds remain before the start of the biggest race at Perry Bar since its reopening in 2007. This is the 2008 Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship Grand Final. Here we go then. Just waiting for the riders on the outside to settle into gates three and four. The points from the heats are all now relevant, as is the semi final. It's just down to these four riders, these four laps, to decide the 2008 Elite, Elite League Rider Champion. Here we go then. Piera, Adams, Schlein, Crump. Let's get ready to rumble. Away they go from the stage, it's a great start by the man in blue, Adams leads it, Pierre has missed the start, there's a four on the outside, Jason Crump into the air fence, the red lights are on. Well, we await Ronnie Allen's decision on that one, it looked like just the domino effect on the first turn, saw so Jason Crump sent out towards the air fence, and all four riders have been invited back for the restart, so the referee rules first Ben Bunching at the start of that ELRC Grand Final. Jason Crump is OK, he's on his feet down there, having gone under the air fence at turn number one. The air fence doing its job, and the Bellevue, the Bellevue aces number one, able to make his way back towards the uh, pits. So they've got to do it all again. Then. It did look as though Lee Adams had made the start in that first running of the grand final, but the red light's coming on with Jason Crump sent out towards the air fence. There did appear to be a little bit of contact with Rory Schlein, but first Ben Bunching, the domino effects is considered by Ronnie Allen. He rules first Ben Bunching and all four riders will be allowed back for the rerun of the 2008 ELRC Grand Final. So all four riders back to the line then for the rerun of this Grand Final. A reminder of the lineup. Gate one in red is Kenneth Pierre for Peterborough. Gate two for Swindon in blue is Lee Adams. Gate three for Ipswich in green it's Rory Schlein and going off the outside gate in yellow is Jason Crump for Bellevue. None the worse for his tumble into the air fence as a result of a bit of first bend bunching at the first attempt at this ELRC Grand Final. Just awaiting the rider in blue, Lee Adams, to settle in gate number two. There is Kenneth Biera off gate number one. Missed the start in the first running, so hoping to make a better gate this time. Kenneth Biera off gate one. 
The man who did make the start was this man, Lee Adams, joint top scorer on 13 points. He's off gate two in blue. Rory Schlein off gate three in green. Possibly a bit of contact with Jason Crump in that uh, first running. Got referee Ronnie Allen giving him the benefit of the doubt. He lines up once again off gate three in green. And there is Jason Crump, none the worse for his tumble, off the outside gate in yellow. So this is it then. Attempt number two at the biggest race since Perry Bar reopened in 2007. This is the second attempt at the 2008 Elite League Riders Championship Grand Final, sponsored by Renault Birmingham. Let's get ready to rumble once again. Away they go. Close as they go into that first turn. Who's going to come out of this? The leash line locks up as that lost in his chance. Crump's around the outside. And Jason Crump leads in yellow. Look at the lead he's got already. And this time Lee Adams is stuck at the back in blue. As they come round to complete lap number one, it's Jason Crump leading. Schlein bursts around the outside of Kenneth Bierra in the second place as they came round to complete lap number one. Adams now up the inside, the two top scorers relegated to third and fourth once again by the final system. So it's Jason Crump who leads in yellow, looking for yet another trophy. Rory Schlein bring great guns in second, Bierra in third place, Adams trying to cut through on the inside. Jason Crump's away and goal at the front, all the action for second and third place in this one. Rory Schlein holding it at the moment. One lap to go in the 2008 Renault Birmingham Elite League Riders Championship Grand Final. Can Lee Adams get through onto the rostrum here ahead of Kenneth Pierre? There's no doubt about the race leader though. Jason Crump of the Bellevue Aces, EVLRC champion in yellow. Second in green goes to Rory Schlein and Kenneth Pierre does get third in red. So there we go. The new Elite League Riders champion is Bellevue Aces number one, Jason Crump. Yet another trophy for one of the fastest riders in world speedway. He celebrates with a wheelie on the home straight. Jason Crump is Elite League Riders champion. Rory Schlein, second place for Ipswich. So it's an Australian one too. Kenneth Bierra takes third for Peterborough. Jason Crump wheeling his way around Perry Bar. It's been an excellent meeting here tonight. 22 heats of fine speedway. And Jason Crump, a worthy winner of the Elite League Riders Championship 2008. Finished third in the qualifiers with 12 points. But a great first turn in the rerun of the final, securing in the title. He just pulled away every lap at the front of the field, still going round. He is overjoyed down there. Jason Crump, winning time, 57.7 seconds in that final. Rory Schlein for Ipswich, which is in Australia, his runner-up. There is Ruboy, as he's known to the fans, Rory Schlein. One of his finest performances in British Speedway so far. He's been over here from Australia for some seven years. And Kenneth Bier for Denmark and the Peterborough Panthers taking third. So the presentation about to take place down there then. Commiserations to Lee Adams, joint top scorer in the qualifiers, but he has to settle for fourth place, having I mean, missed the gate in the rerun of that final. Jason, you are Elite League Rider Champion 2008. How do you feel? I'm very happy. I mean, it was a it was a bit of a funny night. I um, wasn't happy with the first bite, changed bites after a few heats, and um, second one definitely worked better. Um, made a mess of the start in the semi-final, uh, had to pass Holder to get in there and um, to be honest I couldn't believe that Bierra and Adams took gate one and two in the final and um, you know, left Rory and I were three and four so worked out pretty good, hit the, hit the fence on the first staging but managed to make a better start second time and it's pretty cool. Riding with an injury from the GP a few weeks ago and then obviously hit, as you say hitting the deck but picking yourself up to prove that you are the best rider in the Elite League. Well, yeah, I suppose it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, we, we came to an, a new track. It's a great facility. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a great stadium and track to race on. And, um, you know, I think it's good for the fans of Premier League Speedway to see the Elite League guys come out mm -hmm. as well. And, um, you know, I think it was, a, it, it was a good show. Shame meeting got rained off earlier in the year, but um, we saw tonight that with a good track that, that the racing can be good. Jason Crump coming through that last chance semi-final 
and then uh, coming down in the original staging of the final, picking himself up, dusting himself down and producing a stunning first couple of bends to win at the 2008 Elite League Riders Championship and it's been great to see uh, so much with the Australian on our social media channels over the past week or so where it was great to hear him uh, confirm his intention and keenness on returning to British Speedway in 2021 with the Ipswich Witches. Uh, don't forget uh, the official British Speedway website, speedwaygb.co.uk, for all the latest news and views and those social media channels once again, as if you don't need reminding by now. Uh, Twitter at Speedway GB, Speedway GB on Facebook. We are at Official British Speedway on Instagram and search Speedway Great Britain on YouTube. Do keep your eyes peeled on those social media channels for details of our next Monday night Speedway broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you back very soon indeed.